What's up everybody? It's Tyron Johnson and it's Make Em Pay Mondays. Alright, I want to start this one by saying don't take your work for granted. Don't think that what you're doing is not paying off. Especially if you're on a good team. If you're on a good team and you're not where you want to be, that don't mean that you're a bad player. That don't mean that your stats doesn't matter. Just because you average six points, three rebounds, maybe one assist, them 15 to 20 minutes that you play is key for that team to be successful. So I don't want you to be too hard on yourself and think that you're not bringing nothing to the table. Because without you, that team won't be as successful as it is. I see guys all the time stressing over, man, I'm not doing this, I'm working so hard to do this. You gotta realize the situation you put in. You might only be playing 15 to 20 minutes. How much can you do in those minutes? So you got LeBron James numbers starting your brain, but you playing a bench role. That's not gonna add up. So now you're setting a goal that's unattainable. Not by you, but the setup ain't right. But when you put in work, Marvin Williams went second or third in the draft and he came off the bench because his role was so, so big for the team that people seen his potential. And it could be a strategy. You know, you can be that punch that comes off the bench when the starters go out. Those guys are very, very important because it brings a different dynamic to the team. That's why Jamal Crawford always has a job. So don't take your stats for granted. I don't care what there is. If you're on a good team and you, you, you putting in work behind the scenes, somebody's seeing it, especially basketball players, especially your teammates, your coaches. Opportunities come from that. Then the next season, you might have the job of your life, but you've been preparing four, five years for this job. Now it's time to make them pay. But if you so hard on yourself, you down on yourself, you don't think that you good enough because of where you at today, it's holding you back from where you going tomorrow. And I'm telling you, I see guys all the time putting in work, putting in work, putting in work, and it's not showing on the court. You might not be in a situation for it to show though. So you can't get so down on yourself. You can't look at your neighbor or your teammate and think that, oh, he's doing better than me. No, you're not in competition with him. The only person you should be in competition with is yourself. Push yourself to go as hard as you possibly can go each and every day. And opportunities are gonna to start to flow. Karma is a real thing, at least I believe. It's pretty much the only thing I believe in. What goes up comes down. What you put in is what you get out. You put in the work, it's gonna be one game where you're gonna hit about five in a row. That's not by a mistake. That's by the consistent hard work and the consistent belief that you're a player to be reckoned with. Once you get your opportunity, you're gonna be prepared. When opportunity meets hard work, some crazy things happen. I done seen some guys go to the NBA. I done seen some guys go to the Euro League. I done seen some guys go to the top Euro Cup team, CBA. Man, all of those things, are, uh, that's a big time accomplishment. But if you moping and you, you dwelling in your feelings because you're not where you're at today, you're, not, you're never gonna get where you're going tomorrow. Appreciate where you at. Appreciate those five points a game. But know that the guy that's averaging 20, you pushing him to get better every day. Without you, he won't be able to average 20 because you making him better and you don't even know it. That's why whenever I play, every young player I play against, I try to take him under my wing, especially the full man, because I want them to see what, it, what, what it's like to be one of the top players in the league. I'm gonna set the example. I'm gonna show up early. I'm gonna leave late. I'm gonna hit the weights. Doing better with my food, but I'm doing everything I can to give him a proper example on how to be a professional. 
hopefully that can rub off on him. And he have a whole bunch of opportunities. That's one of my main goals when I come to a team. Because I see the potential. You just don't see the potential most of the time. Trust me, when you're putting in work, you're doing all the little things, you running the court, you getting the big stop, you hitting the big shots, you getting the loose balls, you, you defending the best players, all those things matter. Without you, that team don't be successful. The top player don't be successful. So understand that you're a big part in everything that's going on. Keep working, and when your opportunity comes, every day, make them pay.